Well, we can finally say that. the NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harley. Joining me in the booth, as always, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. What an exciting game opening night in the NBA. Let's check out the starting lineups. Hey, what is going on, guys? T Sports 15 here. Today we are back for another episode of the Toronto Raptors Association Mode here in NBA 2K14 for the current gen. So I know I haven't posted one of these since Next Gen came out, so it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these. I just haven't been like uploading at all that much for any of my series, but I'm hopefully getting back to that with the winter break coming up and everything, and uh, want to get back to daily uploads and uh, and all that good stuff. But uh, here we go we're going to be taking on the new york knicks in the season opener totally revamped team we got wiggins julius randall we have trey burke starting at the one so a whole new starting lineup only two of the three guys are returning in DeRozan, and uh i mean two of the five guys are returning um in our starting five are, are anthony bennett and demar DeRozan, and then the, we have a whole new revamped uh start starting rotation and then uh we also have a uh, totally new bench so it should be a very very solid team this year hopefully going to be making a playoff push and uh, it all starts here against the new york knicks so uh, hopefully you can pick up the w today and uh, one more thing that i did want to talk about is uh, i've been getting quite a few questions about if i'm going to be continuing this once next gen comes out and yes i am because i'm probably not going to be getting a uh, next gen which would be my pr preference would be a ps4 probably not going to be getting a ps4 until um mlb 14 the show time so uh about march because um I, I decided to go for something else for my christmas present this year uh just because if i was to get the ps4 now for christmas then i really wouldn't have any games to play other than nba 2k 14 and i don't play nba 2k 14 that much and uh Quite honestly, I don't think that current gen is that bad, especially for the game modes that I play. Um, I really don't like my career that much, but obviously the my career in next gen is like outstanding. So um, when I do get my PS4, I probably will get NBA 2K14 for next gen, uh, but we're, I'm probably going to be switching over to next gen whenever MLB 14 The Show comes out because MLB 14 The Show looks unreal on next gen, and I can't wait for that, and I can't uh, just be holding it on current gen i gotta be having that on next gen so once once next gen comes out once uh mlb 14 the show comes out that's when i'm gonna get my ps4 and uh it's gonna be kind of tight for money at that time of the uh, year i'm gonna be selling a lot of stuff i have to uh sell my hd pvr to get an elgato or something and then like it's just gonna be hectic about that i'll probably try and do it before mlb 14 the show comes out so i'm all prepared because i can't wait for mlb 14 the show and that brings me to another topic Topic of this commentary I do have one more thing that I want to talk about uh, before we get into the gameplay uh, and you can see we are losing by six points now but Terrence Ross is going to knock down that three no he misses it but Tristan Thompson cleans up on the glass he's gonna get the and one there and that'll be Tyson Chandler's third foul of the game so uh, yeah one more thing that I did want to talk about I have a uh, idea of doing a uh, what's it called of doing a MLB the show series during the offseason I the only one that like I have well I just finished my MLB for 13 the show uh, Blue Jays franchise and I wanted to have at least one MLB series going through the entire offseason so uh, yeah if you guys have any ideas on that uh, you can just leave some ideas in the comment section below and uh, other than that, let's get into the commentary into the gameplay sorry but we're down nine here we got a Wiggins with the ball he's gonna get a double team here by uh, Mello and I believe that's Raymond Felton he's gonna kick it over to Trey Burke who's gonna cut in. he's gonna get double teamed and he's gonna throw that one over to demar DeRozan for the tray and uh, that'll bring us within six so now the lead back up to eight wiggins is gonna drive he's gonna get the and one and you can tell that carmelo anthony isn't such a great defender and uh we've been get he, uh, wiggins has been getting to him on the offensive side of the ball but obviously mellow one of the better uh 
offensive small forwards in the game. So uh, he he's going to be tough to defend. Wiggins is not outstanding on the defensive side of the ball, but uh, uh, he can he can definitely hold his ground. So here we go. We get the rebound here with Anthony Bennett here about three minutes into the third quarter. Send it up to Wiggins, who's going to pull up for the three. He doesn't shoot that well from three-point range, but he's going to knock that one down. Whenever I did my uh, off-season trainings or whatever, pre-draft scouting, um, I I tried out Wiggins in a shoot around and its three point shot wasn't too good so we uh, did go for one of those preseason training camps with him for the three point range and one more thing that I do really need to improve is Julius Randle's free throw uh, rating because he was getting to the line a lot in this game but he's, he's kind of like Dwight Howard he gets to the line and he really can't knock those down he started knocking them down more more uh, later in the game once I got his free throw down and I think it, it's not going to be a ratings thing it's just me getting used Used to his free throw so I just really need to get used to Julius Randle's free throw because he got to the line a lot today and that, that, that gave up a lot of points if we could have knocked those down um, then we could have had a better chance of winning this uh, ball game so here we go let's uh let, you can see that Raymond Felton's gonna knock down that three there they'll put them up nine and right here that's an alley-oop to J.R. Smith I believe and uh, just got behind the defense there and we got some of our bench players in there and I really think we have a good bench this year um, a very very deep bench I do want to get one more big because we don't have we only have uh, two bigs back and up we have uh, our two starting bigs in Bennett and Randall and then we have uh, Robin Lopez and Tristan Thompson and then everybody else other than that are either wings or uh, guard well sorry wings or guards and uh, we really need to get at least one more big in there I'm thinking of trading away maybe a Terrence Ross kind of guy uh, something like that and I was even contemplating trading away either Trey Burke or uh, Michael Carter Williams or even packaging them together to get a superstar point guard because I don't think that our lineup right now is good enough to win a championship this year but uh, if we can get a superstar point guard develop Randall and like give Randall and Bennett and then also uh uh, Wiggins give them all through another year of development and I think we can have a very very good uh, contention for that uh, championship next year don't think we have that good of a shot this year we do have a very good team but we still we still have a good chance but you can see in the last play there Julius Randle he's getting to the line and he makes uh, I believe he makes one of two here but right before that you can see that Tyson Chandler would foul out there so he, he did get a good job getting to the line even on one of the better defensive centers in uh, Tyson Chandler and he's be fouled out here so that'll help us out they had to put in their backup but right there another lob to J.R. Smith from uh from Carmelo Anthony and that will put them on top by four now so Melo with the ball here he's gonna go to work on Wiggins and he is going to knock the one right down in his face that'll give them the six point lead back down to four J.R. Smith with the ball at the three point line good defense there by Wiggins and that'll be picked up on the boards by Trey Burke he's gonna give this one inside to DeRozan back to Wiggins and he's gonna get the one handed flush with the right hand and that was a very nice passing play there on the fast break so now down five 32 seconds left they missed this one so Randall's gonna give this one up to Trey Burke inside to DeRozan who's gonna get the two-handed slam there and that will be a uh, Nike vertical replay he almost got 30 inch vertical but he's a pretty tall guy so uh, it wasn't obviously gonna be that that high but right here with uh, down six Trey Burke's gonna knock down that three off the inbound 12.5 seconds left we would send them to the line here and if we could get them to miss two of two with Raymond Felton going to the line here we could have a very good chance with 11 seconds left to just knock down one more three so Trey Burke t takes his fifth foul there Raymond Felton misses the first one and here we go if he misses this next one it will be a one possession ball game here with 11 seconds left and we could have some time to set this up but he would knock down the next one that'll make it a two score game and uh, we need to get a quick score here so Wiggins sends it over to DeRozan just barely covered and he's gonna rim that one and we would pers we would give up another personal foul there after that and uh, uh, pretty much after that they knocked down both of those free throws they would take a six point lead and that would pretty much do it in this uh, ball game so we do go on to lose to the New York Knicks a tough loss but I do think we have a very solid chance of uh, making it deep into the playoffs this year and maybe with one key addition we could have a good contention for that championship but Raymond Felton does get the player of the game uh, and other than 
that Wiggins led us in scoring on uh, that Julius Randle uh, he had the second most scoring in this game for our team uh, I believe they both finished with 24 and 18 uh, like one of them with 24 points one of them with 18 Julius Randle was really hard on the boards I think he had upwards of 14 rebounds and then like three blocks or something but both of our top picks were uh, really really showing us uh, why we well proven themselves in the NBA nice and early and uh, a very good showing by our rookies and our veterans in Pierce and uh, Vince Carter. So we have a very solid team going into this season and uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. You guys can stick around for the box scores and everything and definitely leave a like, follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.